This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. I just got back from a week-long vacation, so I had a lot of time to rest and reflect on the world around us. And in doing so, I have a pretty important message for you all tonight. And it centers around Matthew 24, 24. It talks about how there will be false Christs and false prophets that will arise in the end times and perform great signs and wonders so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. I'd like to focus on the false Christs portion of this verse because many people take this literally in that there will be men or women in the end times that are claiming to be Jesus Christ himself. Now, while this is happening, I do not believe that this was the intent of this verse, and I'll share with you my thoughts just in a second on what I think it is. For the literal translation of false Christs, uh, this is happening and to a small degree. You have this man here in Brazil who is claiming to be Jesus Christ reincarnated. I think globally, worldwide, there is probably less than 15 people, maybe even less than that, that are actually claiming to be Jesus Christ. And even in doing so, they garnish very, very, very small followings of people. This man in particular, um, just to detract from the main message of my video here a second, here is one of his worshipers or followers, and it's a picture of her working out. And uh, for those of you that follow my channel and saw my videos on the lotus flower and its importance in the occult, you'll find it find it very interesting that she has a lotus flower on the refrigerator behind her. And actually, if you look to the other refrigerator on the right hand side, you have the infinity symbol. I just really could not um, validate my prior videos any more than this one picture here. Uh, this is truly the Antichrist spirit at work. Um, but just going back to my main message here, literal translation of Matthew 24, 24, there are being actual people claiming to be Jesus Christ. It is happening, but to a very, very small degree. What I think the true intent of this verse is, and what is such a grand deception, because the enemy is not going to use these whacked out people that are only garnishing five to 20 followers at a time. He wants to deceive as many people as possible. And the deception that I see and the big danger to Christianity is not Hinduism and Buddhism or Islam. It is false Christianity that is the biggest deception of them all. And while we know there's a lot of, uh, a lot of denominations out there that are practicing all sorts of gospels that are not the true gospel, uh, there is something that's really becoming profound across all around the world, and it's about this all you need is love message. I talked about this in my interview with Stephen Bancars, is it's just only about love. Um, Jesus always loved you, doesn't matter what you do in this world, uh, you can keep on doing it. Another popular campaign was love has no labels, it's only focused around love. And so you can consider this the new age if you want. And the Pope is really playing into this as well, saying that it doesn't really matter whether you're Christian, Buddhism, whatever, the one world religion, we're all children of God. And so you're seeing this intertwining of not only all the religions together, but specifically regarding the new age, you're seeing Christianity merge with secularism um, very profoundly. And so here's a lot of the things that I found on my vacation that I wanted to share with you. The first one is here. It's all about Justin Bieber and how he's got his Christian faith reborn. That was back in 2014, but it's resurfacing again because he just canceled his tour and he says he canceled it because of Jesus Christ. Now, he's also stating that he wants to create his own church, which is very interesting. Um, the reason why reporters are talking about that is because he's buddying up with Carl Lentz, who's one of the lead pastors at Hillsong. I'm not going to get into an ex expose of exposing Hillsong United, um, but it is very deceitful. 
And you can see here, uh, Justin Bieber is with Carl Lentz at a bar taking his shirt off. He's doing shots with him. There's also some rumors about exactly what this relationship is between them because there's some very risque shots of those two. And uh, just for a little flavor of what Hillsong does, you can check out this Hillsong London Easter special where it is not glorifying Christ. It is glorifying witchcraft and voodoo and all sorts of crazy stuff. I mean, it's just something you want to stay away from. But again, it's about blending secularism with Christianity. Here you have Justin Bieber saying, I believe in Jesus. I'm coming back to my Christian roots, but it's a false Jesus. It's a false Christ. Here's another one. And I cover this during the Super Bowl. The Provocative Faith of Lady Gaga. This was written by the Washington Post. And it talks about how Lady Gaga basically led the whole United States in worship. So here's a quote from that article. It says, America and the world will witness not just a pop star, but a prominent Christian take the stage at NRG Stadium on Sunday. The prophet and pastor will all will lead us all in worship. It may not look like your grandparents' church service, but her values do reflect those of Jesus Christ. Again, here you have a quote-unquote prophet and pastor deceiving those with a false Christ. And you can see her here. She is a Catholic and she has these photos of her and a priest just showing that she is quote unquote religious. Here's another recent article from this last week. Snoop Dogg's new gospel album actually sounds lit. Now, if you look at the bottom here, it says in the name of Jesus. Again, another false Christ. Here's a song that's been out for a while now. And if you've heard it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's from Hosier. And it says, take me to church. And it has a very deep gospel sound to it. But if you look at the lyrics, he says, my church offers no absolutes. She tells me worship in the bedroom. The only heaven I'll be sent to is when I'm alone with you. I was born sick, but I love it. So essentially what he's saying in his lyrics here is that sex is his worship. And he was born into worshiping and loving that. But again, he's saying that he loves it. He takes pride in it. Now, you could say that this is my interpretation of these lyrics. But if you actually look on the Today Show... Hosier describes the take me to church meaning. Here's a quote from that interview. He says it's very much about sexuality and sex, I suppose. So church being sex. This is all about occult, ritualistic sex magic. Uh, many various uh, musicians have all intertwined sex in with worship and religion. Another one, just like Madonna, quote unquote, like a prayer. Again, blending this false Christ uh, in with secularism. And uh, let me just show you another clip. Again, these are all just um, very unrelated and, and seemingly random clips, but these are all things that just impacted me over the week that I was on vacation. So here is uh, this individual. He is born biologically male. You may have seen that he is a transgender who wants to be a genderless alien. Uh, he literally wants to remove all his parts and including nipples and, and belly button and everything. And he wants to be, quote unquote, a genderless alien. But uh, if you hear what he says here, it's important to the storyline because he says, amen, when someone says that sex is what's between your legs, but gender is what's between your ears and your brain. Again, it's just this whole molding of using religious terms and religious sounding gospel music and false Christ worship. Um, this is the false Christ that that verse was talking about. It's not the crazy Brazilian or the crazy Iranian saying, I am Jesus Christ reincarnated. It is literally people making idols out of Jesus Christ, molding the authoritative figure of scripture, of the Bible, and molding him and turning him into what pleases them and is deceiving so many people. 
entire process well, to see what can be done. Remember, sex is usually between your legs. Gender is between your ears, right? It's, Amen. It's rooted in the brain. Yes, thank but, you. But, there are all, but the brain is also very... So what's the main message here, guys? It's that in the verse Matthew 24, 24 and others like it, which talk about the rise of false Christ in the end times, may not actually be pointed to people stating that they are Jesus Christ in the times that we're in, but rather a multitude of pastors, preachers, priests, and even lay persons saying, come, look over here. Here is the Christ. It is the Jesus Christ of the prosperity gospel of Joel Olstein, or some others will say, no, come look over here. Here is the Christ. It is the Christ of love, grace, mercy, and forgiveness. The all you need is love Christ, the Christ that does not focus on truth, justice, righteousness, and holiness in addition to love. Or even further, some will say, no, come look over here. Here is the Christ. It is the Gnostic Christ, the Christ that wants you to self-elevate in occult or esoteric knowledge and wisdom as he did, so that you may set your minds free, this very new age Jesus Christ. These are the false Christs that prophecy was speaking about, and these are the false Christs that are literally spreading like wildfire all across the world. Now, this message may meet some with a great deal of concern that you may be in a church where you're being deceived. And you may think that you'll have to go out into the internet and YouTube and do as much research as you can so that you cannot be deceived. But let me tell you this, deception is all around us and it's so pervasive all throughout this world that it may not always be possible to find out every single deception that is working against you. So what you must do is pray to the Father in heaven, pray to Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit to fill you with wisdom, to circumcise your heart, to protect your mind. You need to rely on the Father and the Holy Spirit and supernatural powers to protect your mind. I have to be redundant with that. Um, you know, just pray to Jesus and say, Lord, protect me from all this deceit. Shelter me in your wisdom. Shelter me with truth and righteousness and holiness and help and keep me from all this deception. Uh, that is the continual prayer that you must say in these times because there is no amount of effort that you can humanely do to figure out all the deceptions that the evil one is working against us all.